Welcome to Connection Kids Online. I'm Mr. Trevor and I'm so glad you're here today. We're learning about how God is in control and how our lives can be one big adventure when we are following Jesus. I have another very important question for you before we get into today's lesson. If there was one thing you could pick to do for an entire day, what would that be? Would you go somewhere, maybe be president, play a professional sport? Go ahead and think about your answer. Okay, on the count of three, everybody go ahead and say your answer. One, two, three. Wow, those are, those are some really neat things, some great answers. I think I would like to take a ride with a park ranger at Yellowstone National Park for a day. They would know all the best places to visit and we could plan out a great adventure. They could even keep me safe from the bears. Ah! But even if I had the control to try and plan out my day, only God would know in advance how it would go because he is always in ultimate control. God always being in control kind of reminds me of our Bible story for today. It's about when Jesus fell asleep on a boat with his disciples and a big storm came and his disciples got really scared and panicked. But before I give away the whole story, let's check out our memory verse. This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord God is with you wherever you go. Stories of the Bible. Jesus calms the storm. This is Jesus. Hey -o. Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. One day after preaching to a crowd of people, Jesus said to his disciples, let's cross to the other side of the lake. You got it. So they got into a boat and started out. Other boats followed him too. <sighs> and as they sailed across, Jesus fell asleep. Uh -oh. But soon a fierce storm came down on the lake. The boat was filling with water and they were in real danger. The disciples went and woke Jesus up, shouting, Hey, Jesus, wake up! Save us! We are going to drown! Don't you care if we drown? Jesus responded, 
Why are you afraid? You have so little faith. Then he got up and rebuked the wind and waves, saying, Silence, be still. Suddenly the wind stopped and there was a great calm. Then he asked them, Where is your faith? The disciples were terrified and amazed. Who is this man? They asked each other. When he gives a command, even the wind and waves obey him. What's up all you explorers out there? My name is Caroline and I'll be your guide. I'm going on an adventure and I'm taking you with me. Each week, I'll be taking on a new challenge from scavenger hunts to escape rooms and I'll be documenting everything with the best gear around. This is Vlog Vibes. The best adventures are the ones that you don't see coming and I think that's exactly what's gonna happen today. One of my subscribers sent me this box, shout out Mackenzie, and all I was told was that the most amazing adventure is on the inside and I just have to open it and it'll start. So I can't wait to see what's inside. There's another box inside this box. All right, let's see what's in this one. Another box is inside this box, okay? There's a phone and paper. Huh, let's see what this says. All right, you are invited to the scavenger hunt of a lifetime. With this phone, you will receive a set of coordinates to take a picture. Once you take the picture, upload it to the pre-installed app in order to receive your next set of instructions. The scavenger hunt will lead you on an oceanfront photo adventure with a prize at the very end. Okay, I'm in, that sounds so cool. I need to go grab a few things, but I'll meet you guys at the beach. Okay, so I made it to the beach and I have my first set of coordinates. I don't think they're too far from here, but it was really, really specific. It said that I need to go down to the beach and take a picture of myself in the sand on one leg, but I think I can do it. So we should head down there. Okay, so we made it to the beach and I'm pretty ready to do this first challenge. I think we're in some sand right here. I think this is perfect. So now I just need to stand on one leg. All right, here we go in one, two, three. Perfect, got the picture. Now let's see what's next. Looks like we need to find a shell phone. Not exactly sure what a shell phone is, but we're gonna have to go find it. So let's go this way. Huh, okay, let's take a look here. Oh, I found a shell. Let's see if this works. Mom? Mom, yeah, I'm here at the beach. Yeah, no, no. okay, I'm, I'm busy. I do need to go. All right, talk to you. Well, there you go. There's a shell phone. All right, now I need to see what's next. Um, it looks like the app says I need to go build a sand castle. Okay, I can do that. Let's see here. Oh, I see some beach toys that way. Let's go make a sand castle over here. Okay, here we go. Let's build it. We're gonna build a really good sand castle. Here we go. Right, there's the first part. There's this, oh, that was a good one. Okay, I thought that was gonna be bad. All right, here we go, last part. I'm gonna try and put it on top, see how this goes. Oh, that's, that feels good enough. We're gonna do that. That's a pretty good sand castle. It's not terrible. Let's take a picture. One, two, three. Awesome, cool. Now let's see what my phone says to do next. All right, I need to go and make a shelter. All right, let's go do it. Oh. Wait, right over there. Looks like something that I could set up. Let's go check it out. Looks pretty big. Might take a lot of work to set this up, but we're gonna, we're gonna give it our best shot. Okay, all right. Okay, this is a big tent. I'm gonna have to set down my camera for this. Okay. Yeah, I can do this. Absolutely. Okay, all right, I built my shelter. Look at how cool it is. It even has a doormat. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's take a picture. One, two, three. So cool. This is awesome, I might sleep here tonight. All right, let's see what my phone says to do next. Okay, it says that I need to find a yellow rubber duck. Where am I gonna find a yellow rubber duck? Here at the beach. Do I need to look around some more? It's right there, are you kidding? That's amazing. Let me take a picture with it. This is so cool. Okay, ready, one, two, three. That's awesome, that's so cool. That was awesome, I loved that yellow rubber duck. We got the coolest picture together. So now I'm gonna have to see what my next clue is on my phone, let's take a look here. All right, it says that I need to, wait a second, look at that. Is that a treasure chest? Okay, I gotta check it out. I'm gonna set down my camera right here. 
Okay, gotta read the letter first. Dear Caroline, I love watching your show so much, especially vlog vibes. Thanks, it's so nice. I love going on adventures with you and to show our gratitude, a few of your subscribers wanted to get you a small gift. We hope it will be helpful in a future episode. Huh, what is it? <gasps> Look, it's a GoPro, that's awesome. <laughs> Look at how cool it is. This is amazing, thank you so much. I can't wait to use this on a future adventure. This is gonna be awesome. Okay, it's getting a little dark, so I'm gonna need to take this back to base camp with me, but I will see you guys there. I think today was easily my best adventure yet. It was so fun to explore the beach, and the surprise at the end of the scavenger hunt was really unexpected. This show is such a blast to make, and I'm glad that I'm not the only one who enjoys going on these adventures. Last week, we talked about how the best adventures are the ones spent with friends. I may have technically been by myself today, but in reality, I had all of you with me, especially Mackenzie and my other subscribers who put together this plan. They went ahead of me and planned out an amazing adventure because they know me and know just the kind of adventure I love. That actually reminds me a lot of my adventure with Jesus. He knows me and knows the things I love, the things I'm good at, and the things that will happen in my life. He goes ahead of me and has it all mapped out. He is always in control of our adventure through the ups and downs and twists and turns. The directions on our adventure with Jesus aren't always as obvious as the directions were today on the scavenger hunt, but we can know God is still right alongside us through it all. When things feel hard or scary or don't go according to plan, know that God knows the plan, even if it feels like he doesn't. It's like what we heard in our Bible story today. When Jesus and the disciples were crossing the body of water while Jesus just slept. And as he slept, a terrible storm came over the boat and the disciples were terrified. They woke Jesus and asked him, don't you care if we drown? And Jesus replied, why are you afraid? Jesus went out onto the deck and commanded the storm to stop. Isn't that crazy? All he had to do was speak a few words and the storm listened. That is the kind of power and control we're talking about. He is in complete control of the universe, but he also cares about each and every one of us. He wants the best for our lives. He wants to go along with us on every adventure. So talk to him, ask him where he wants to guide you. Let him know you are sad or scared or don't know what's next. You can ask him to send encouragement or someone to help you through a difficult season because there will be hard times on your adventure. All the best adventure stories have tough times. But remember, God is with us on our adventure and he goes before us. He is in control and he knows where we are going next on our adventure. When we worship, we thank God for his incredible love for us. God loves us very much and has great plans for us. As we prepare for our adventure through life with Jesus as our guide, let's take some time worshiping and honoring him. So let's sing the words to this song and thank him and praise him with our whole heart right now together. Ruth 1.16 says, Where you go, I will go. Where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God, my God. All your ways are good, all your ways are sure. I will trust in you alone, higher than my sight, high above my Trust in you
my feet to go your way. I give you my eyes to see as you see, and I give you my tongue to speak your words. My life is in your hands, and Lord, I will follow you all of my days. God is with us every day. No matter what we face, God is there so we don't ever have to be afraid. This doesn't mean you will never be afraid. We all have emotions and one of them is fear and when a scary situation comes, we can remember that God tells us we should have courage because He is with us. Just like in our story where Jesus and disciples were on a boat and Jesus fell asleep and the great big storm came. Jesus showed them he was in control and they didn't need to be afraid because he was with them. And all Jesus had to do was say the words and the storm calmed down. That's how powerful he is. He knows everything and he is always in control. Whether it's the weather or your life, he is always in control. That doesn't mean he will always make the hard things go away, but he has a plan for those hard times. And that is part of the adventure we are on with him. He can use the hard times and the hard adventures to teach us to rely on Him. He can even make us stronger through them. Sometimes He even allows us to use the hard times we go through to help others who may go through similar situations. Even if we don't know how we're going to get through something and what is going to happen next, God knows. He planned it all out before you were even born. Jesus is always in control and we have to have faith and believe that He knows what we are going through and that He can help us. Let's pray now and ask the Holy Spirit to guide us and help us grow in our relationship with Jesus. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Thank you for your promises and your word. Thank you for wanting to help remind us that you are always in control. Holy Spirit, help guide us and direct us in our adventures with Jesus and help us to remember that God has a plan for everything. Thank you, and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. I don't know about you, but there are definitely times in my life that have been hard. There have even been times where I've been scared. But I'm also glad for stories like we learned today that can remind me just how powerful Jesus is and that he is with me and I can trust him to take care of me. Jesus knows all about us and what will be best for our adventure through life. He knows our past, present, and future and he is in control of all of it. Even better, he promises to make it good if we trust him. I'm so glad Jesus is in control because if I were in control, I would probably mess up a lot. The truth is, there will be storms and things that are difficult, but Jesus loves us and he can calm those storms. He can use the Holy Spirit to help guide us and stories from the Bible to help remind us just how he helps his people time and time again. Jesus loves us and knows what is best for us, and he has amazing things planned for our lives, so let's trust him in our adventures. I'm so glad we could be together today. We love you, and we're praying for you right here at Connection Kids. Have a great week.